What's up guys, Deju22 here, and we're ready for day 5 of Starcade, but we still have what we do have one match before the main event of of today, and that is the tag team matchup between the team of uh, John Morrison and Bruce Lee taking on David Otunga and Michael McGillicuddy of the Nexus. I almost uh, had a brain freeze right there, but uh, it all started when the Nexus attacked both men from behind when they were scheduled to have a match with the Nexus, but uh, they cheap-shotted them, and Morrison and Lee, though they fought valiantly, they just could not get out of the blocks. So this will definitely, we'll find out whether uh, the Nexus is as good as they say they are, only this time face to face. So with that in mind, here we go. <clears throat> you know what? I am very, very excited about today because right after this, we have yet another major feud in the making. Or, or that is about to come to an end, if at all. But... And it's between uh, Slim Kirby and Nufi Bonga. I mean, this this is a Let's Players feud. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Let's Player, uh, I, I might send you links to their channels so you can see what they do. But other than that, let's just get down to this match. I mean, these two teams uh, of two have great animosity for each other. And... Uh, uh, from the time since the last match to this match, uh, Lee and Morrison have gotten themselves ready for this event. So have the Nexus. So we'll find out which team really is the best amongst these two. And to win this match, pinfall or submission, by knockout, or by causing your opponent to bleed, which is what happened to David Otunga, even though his team won. So we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out who the best team is right here, right now. Deadlock. And a neck breaker. So, yeah, two nights ago, I was just so surprised that uh, 10 made his return. And, um, well, I. But rather than that, but that's not what really, really surprised me. Whisper in the wind! Whisper in the wind onto David Otunga. But what really surprised me was the fact that he actually beat the great Michael Jackson. I mean, let me just put it to you in perspective. In the third dimension that is WWE Universe, in all of video game wrestling, uh, Michael Jackson is a legend in in video game wrestling as he is a pop star the king of pop in real life that is the fifth dimension so yeah he's as he is as every bit as legendary in video game wrestling as he has been in music and that's saying something I mean m most times uh, most you know video game wrestling companies like uh, story mode federation uh, had Jackson uh, make guest guest appearances, and they would pay him on a per appearance basis. In fact, most uh, video game wrestling companies do that for Michael Jackson. And as far as which Michael Jackson Jackson shows up, largely depends on what gimmick he's doing. You know, which is based off his career, really. I mean, he has uh, his first gimmick was the off the wall gimmick, in which he wears a suit and has, you know, dark skin like he used to have, as well as the afro, and then his thriller persona, still dark colored, and he still had, and he had that awesome jacket, as well as those flowing locks of hair, and then, I mean, I can go on and on about that, but, but yeah, most of the personas are based off of uh, the songs as well as the music videos made for them. I mean, that's just how awesome uh, Michael Jackson is. It's just amazing. But 
it was just a very big surprise that uh, Ten was able to beat him. And whenever uh, Michael Jackson was a full-time member of a promotion, he would always be that promotion's world champion. And we did sign him to a lucrative contract, which we would have never been able to do had we not dumped, uh, or well, I don't want to say dumped, because that's a bit strong. One, two, whoa, almost got a three count on David Ot on David Otunga that quickly. But as I was saying, uh, yeah, we signed him to a lucrative offer. I mean, uh, we were able to clear up some cap space, largely to the departure of... Uh, Jacob Cass, and we do wish him the best of luck, but the pro but the reason we didn't offer Cass the amount of money that we offered Jackson is, come on, he's Michael Jackson, come on, the guy is Michael Jackson, okay, the guy is a legend, the man can draw butts in the seats, in fact, uh, most often, more often than not, I mean, we do get like a standing room only type of thing, you know, back in his day, I mean, I mean, I mean, the concerts were just crazy. I mean, the chicks were going nuts for him. Uh, although, although the guys went nuts for him too. But, uh, but most guys at the time, you know, like chicks wanted to be with him, and guys wanted to be like him. And that's just the thing about Michael Jackson. He's just awesome like that. Pinfall cover. And before the referee could even uh, go for the count, already broken up by McGillicuddy. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, Michael Jackson, even though he's not champion as of yet uh, here at the Jewish Television Company, uh, he just, he know he can draw money. I mean, he can draw fans into the arenas with little to no problem. I mean, it, it's just... I mean, that's just how much of a money maker he makes. I mean, that's just the fact that he's a money maker. I mean, he's just he knows how to make money, but he also knows how to make money for other people or other companies such as ours. But, uh, but that's all I have to say about that. But I was just so surprised that Ten was able to beat him. But he didn't. But it wasn't easily done. I'll tell you that much. But. Enough about that. Let's just get down to this match. Uh, so far, uh, both... Uh, well, so far, uh, Morrison, to this point, has not tagged in his partner yet. But he ought to right now, because if he doesn't... I mean, we're looking at what happened to Mantar. I mean, Mantar was in there for quite a while, and he tried to be a man about it, but... But instead of... Uh, you know, tagging out to his partner uh, and leader and friend, Arn Anderson, he took the brunt of the punishment, and it just took its toll on him. We're at oh, okay, thank you, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Um, it was, uh, yeah, Lee did start the matchup, but, or he was in there briefly, though. I mean, it's back and forth type of action, but right now the Nexus is controlling this one. Right now. I mean, I mean Morrison is just throwing punches, but he's missing. And uh, that's not good if you're trying to uh, beat a Michael McGillicuddy. I mean, if you swing and miss more often, I mean, he's going to hit you. And Morrison, what's he doing? Oh, he's going for a clover leaf. A cloverleaf submission, but yeah, Michael McGillicuddy is a bit too strong at this point. And a full Nelson. And Morrison just uses enough strength to get out of it. Deadlock. Oh, and a kick to the butt, actually. And that stunned uh, Morrison quite a bit, actually. I don't know why, but it did. And Morrison got out of the corner. A European uppercut. And, oh, come on, Bruce. Come on. 
I mean, he was he was going to tag you, man. Come on. Stay focused here. And some back elbows to uh, Morrison. So, yeah, whoever wins this will settle it once and for all. I mean, that's pretty much, like I said, that's the, that's been the consistent, uh, uh, what is it, the consistent uh, theme of this thing. The consistent premise, that's what I was trying to go for, of this event is, is to settle feuds and have championship matches. That's, as well as to showcase the best talent in all the world in this, I mean, this is like, the Stanley Cup Finals. I mean, this is uh, if 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 WrestleMania was like the Super Bowl, this is definitely the Stanley Cup Finals. I mean, you only get one shot to win at this event, and this is a once in a lifetime type of thing. I mean, especially since this is this probably might be the only game you'll ever play at a Starcade. You might as well. A knee right to the head of uh, McGillicuddy. Whip into the ropes. Nope. And out goes Morrison over the top rope. And a float over a DDT. I mean, my God, he is playing a goalie right now. But we'll find out what uh, McGillicuddy's going to do right after this.